Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Uh, first, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been sending me donations. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate you. Um, I keep telling y'all, you know, um, if you want to help the channel and you don't have to go in your pockets and you don't want to go in your pockets, just watch some of the commercials, y'all. It helps the channel. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. Watch some of the commercials. And it helps with the uh, monthly, you know, well, whenever I give out the cash apps, okay? Um I've been giving away a lot of cash apps, all right, y'all. You know, I do this because I appreciate my subscribers, okay, y'all? So, um, if I don't have your cash app, because you have to have cash app in order to enter into, you know, so I can, you know, even consider you winning. And um, if I don't have it, my information is in the description box. You can send it to my IG or you can send it to my email. And, you know, you will be listed and I will, you know, consider you for the winnings. Okay, y'all? So, all you got to do is try to watch some of the commercials. Whenever y'all want to take a, a bathroom break or go grab something to eat, just play a commercial. That's all I ask. Okay, y'all? Um, I want to get into this whole thing that happened in Miami, y'all. Okay? Um, I have posted on this a couple times for uh, Rob49 and everything about the hidden that took place in Miami. Um... I always, I told y'all, I always felt some type of way about French Montana, y'all. And when this whole situation happened, the first thing that came to my mind was why everybody else got hit up and he didn't. They saying 10 people got hit up, y'all, if I'm not mistaken, okay? It could be even more now, okay? But the last time I checked, they say 10 people got hit up. Now, if everybody was there and they were doing a video shoot, where was French Montana at? You know, y'all, see, I... And people always be like, I'll be blaming this and blaming that. But I just find it really odd that, you know, out of all the people there and everybody's there doing the video shoot, he the only one that don't get hit up. It just seemed odd to me. I'm just saying, y'all. But anyway, y'all, um, the police is starting to point fingers. This is what they're saying. The chief of police is passing the blame on French Montana, y'all. Okay. Now, he had this video shoot at a Miami restaurant. Now. Miami Gardens police state that French Montana did not have video production permits for his music video shoot that ended in a hitting, y'all, okay? Now, um, according to, you know, media outlets, Miami Gardens police chief Delma Noel Pratt stated that uh, Montana and his team were the sources for the hitting. So everybody else been saying that, that he, it was his fault. Now the police is saying it's his fault as well, y'all. And like I said before, how in the world did everybody get hit up but him? Did he stand to the side when everything went down? I'm just saying, y'all. Now they they was blaming it on people going live that was at the video shoot, and that's how people knew where they were and stuff like that. And word on the street is they were robbed. They said they took Rolexes and everything, y'all. Okay. But this is why they said that they were robbed because that people were posting the lives and all that stuff. But it just seemed odd to me that French Montana didn't get hit and everybody else did. I just feel I just feel like that's a red flag for me. I'm just saying, you know, he either he got the the best luck in the world or, you know, people like to have their name in the spotlight. OK, they love to have their name attached to a big incident happen. And then, you know, that brings them, you know, followers and clout and all that other stuff. And I don't know. I'm just questioning that, y'all. I'm just saying, okay? Um, they're saying as a result of this disregard of the procedures, the unauthorized music video production led to an unfortunate situation. This is what they're saying. And they're saying that Noel Pratt said if the necessary agencies were notified ahead of time and protocol was followed, um, police officers would have been in place to safeguard the community and assist with deterring the responding um, and deterring and responding if needed to any situation that may rise. Okay, y'all. Um, this is crazy. 
they have all this money y'all all of this money that these rappers are worth and they never go through the right precautions to do things the right way i don't understand that french montana let's see how much he's his net worth is and i know it's probably a grip i know it is but the the sad part is why would 22 million dollars this is what they're no wait a minute now y'all that's 20 let me see french montana's net worth is estimated to be 22 million 22 million dollars and you do not take the proper cautions to make sure that everybody that's on this video shoot is safe it doesn't make no sense not even just for your own self for everybody else too it don't make no sense how can you be worth that money and they do not follow the things they need to follow now i'm gonna tell y'all this he better get ready to go to court because it's just it's gonna be the same way with the situation that happened with finesse two times everybody's suing him now okay everybody about to sue french montana okay because other word on the street is it was his video okay that everybody was collaborating with him on so um get ready to go to court all those 10 people that probably got hit up now it's probably not the rappers that got hit up they probably not gonna sue them but everybody else that was uh, you know uh, extra or whatever in the video nine times out of ten they about to sue him too and as they should okay because if you having a, any kind of get together and something happens to somebody you should be sued just like um if i was um a takeoff's family the mom and daddy them i would sue um mob ties them i would sue the pants off of them because they invited him to that party and everybody that was on that list that was there they were all invites of you know jay prince them people so to be honest with y'all i would sue them too if i was them i wouldn't just settle for um you know them saying they love take off and you know their own buddies took him out i would sue them so is this what's to come for french montana because the police is clearly saying that it was all their fault y'all okay they're saying that french montana stated that he was not shooting a music video instead he was celebrating the release of um his cb6 mixtapes with friends at a local restaurant and the shooting was a case of the wrong place wrong time but um that's not what the police are saying y'all this is not what they saying okay so i don't know okay according to um you know news outlets 10 people were injured in a in the hidden outside the licking y'all y'all that name is tripping me out the licking the report confirmed that montana was currently filming a video so who's lying because everybody else is saying there was a video being shot and then you know french montana now he's trying to change it around and say it was just a celebration is he changing it because he's gonna get sued y'all ask yourself this question okay they said the police and the fire rescue responded to reports of, you know, shots fired at the restaurant that is located at 17600 block of Northwest 127th Avenue ahead of 8 p.m. Law enforcement said there are two additional crime scenes, but um, did not provide the locations of the other two. So it was going down in Miami at the same time. There was two more locations that was hit up. So, um... They weren't, they were busy. They, I wonder, is it the same people, y'all? Were they the same people that did this at the same time? I want y'all to pay attention to what happened to Dolph. And when, when the hitting took place up there at the cookie shop, um, there were other crimes being committed at the same time. Was that to deter the police and everybody to go, you know, other places while they got to take all of their jewelry and stuff? And ask yourself this question. I don't know, but did French Montana get robbed too, y'all? Ask yourself that. You know, if anybody know, please let me know in the comment section that they take his jewelry too. Because if he was the only one they didn't rob and he was the only one that they get hit up, y'all, it's something to that, okay? That don't make no sense to me. Um, but, you know, I'm glad everybody's okay. You know, Rob 49 and everybody else is okay. Um, the police are saying they're still working on, on the scene. They're still working on, it's still an ongoing investigation right now. This is what they're saying. So it's an ongoing investigation. Um, they said they had 10 victims. Four brought themselves to the hospital. And we've treated six transported to the hospital. That's what they're saying. A paramedic is reported to have said over the radio transmissions. Uh, and the eyewitness 
said mogul at the scene stated that he was on hand to watch Montana at the shoot, but noticed that someone was robbed of their watch keys and wallet. He asked to call his mother and see if we can get spare keys and make sure, you know, it's he's okay. And then the, they said that's when all the gunshots went off, y'all. This is what the um, eyewitness said. Um, they said that it was at least 13 to 15 gunshots, okay? And I heard that they had that little clip they, they put on the, um, on the weapon so that they can hit a, a whole bunch of people at one time. Okay, y'all, this is what they used. So they were saying it was a, like a rapid assault, assault rifle. This is what they're saying. No fatalities, thank God, have been reported and no one has been taken into custody. I hope they catch them. I really do. I hope that they catch every last one of them because it don't make no sense whatsoever. The stuff that they're doing right now. And I'm so tired of people getting away with stuff. I think that's why I have to take a break for a day or so and get some rest because... This stuff gets to you when people just keep getting away with stuff, you know, and and over and over again. And they, you know, they have something to do with these crimes and then they get away with it every time. You know, you get sick of it. So I had to take a little break because I was getting headaches and everything, y'all. But anyway, they're pointing the fingers at Montana. And if the police is blaming them and the fire department and all them is the blame, um, blaming him, then mo nine times out of ten, whoever was a victim, they have an open and shut case of suing him, okay? He's worth $22 million. Get your money on, y'all. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.